Welcome to our presentation on cognitive software algorithm techniques for electronic warfare. Helios has developed algorithms using artificial intelligence and machine learning that are ready for insertion into electronic warfare programs of record. That specifically helps the Navy address topic N171-044. The need for that topic is to address highly agile and wideband emitters in an increasingly complex signal environment. I am your presenter today, Brett Coakley. Prior to accepting a position as the Vice President of Helios Remote Sensing Systems, I had roles of increasing responsibility at Raytheon and at Lockheed Martin. Unlike many people, in my career I've experienced the full life cycle of technology insertion. I began with initial study modeling through developing program requirements and prototyping, through seeing that technology into validation and sell-off for a major program of record. Helios has headquarters in Rome, New York. We have extensive experience in developing and fielding electronic warfare, radar, and image exploitation products. Helios also has a top secret facility clearance with a classified laboratory. Since 2007, our products have helped solve customer needs for the Department of Defense, the Department of Energy, law enforcement, first responders, and various other government and commercial entities. Our employees have numerous publications and patents. One of our employees even authored a chapter in the Radar Handbook by Merrill Skolnick. Recent company highlights include 2015 Technology Business of the Year for New York State, one of 10 small companies nationwide to participate in the 2016 Legislative Reception on Capitol Hill, and showcasing Helios Man Portable Radar Technology for DARPA Days at the Pentagon. Helios product areas include radar, electronic warfare, and imagery exploitation. We also perform the necessary modeling and simulation, analog and digital electronics, and digital signal processing to implement these products. Our Navy customers include NAVC, NAVAIR, and Office of Naval Research. Additional example customers and partners include United States Army Special Operations Command, Army Research Lab, Air Force Research Lab, DARPA, Intelligence Community, Lockheed Martin, North Grumman, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Michigan Tech Research Institute, and University of Oklahoma. For these customers, Helios has developed and produced products including small portable radar systems, atmospheric monitoring radars, electronic warfare detection and deinterleaving algorithms, and intelligence community products. If you are attending this NAVC FST event, Please live chat with us at our virtual booth for Helios. Otherwise, please visit our website and contact us using the information at the end of this presentation. As part of Navy topic N171-044, the Navy seeks innovative artificial intelligence and machine learning electronic warfare software techniques. Issues arise from advances in COTS hardware, firmware, and software. These advances make it feasible for threat radars to change many parameters with agility in real time. This multidimensional agility makes it difficult for second emitter libraries to keep pace with threats. It is a further challenge to quickly detect and identify these complex signals in extremely high pulse density requirements. To address these issues, Helios has developed algorithms using artificial intelligence and machine learning that are ready for insertion in two electronic warfare programs of record. The surface picture shows CWIP Block 2 as an EW program of record that is a transition target for Helios technology. Additional subsurface and airborne transition targets include WIC-10 and any of the EA-18G Growler next generation jammers. Candidates include next generation jammer mid-band approaching milestone C, next generation jammer low band development and process, and the future next generation jammer high band. Helios technology provides capability to meet a Navy operational need. The Navy has an operational need to address emergence of increasingly agile radar technology. The Helios learning algorithm solution dynamically recognizes previously unknown threats in real time. These learning algorithms also build or expand emitter databases during deployment. 
This benefits the Navy by decreasing reliance on prior knowledge of threat emitters and dependence on threat libraries. The Helios built or expanded database from deployment can also reduce the cost and turnaround time of maintaining SIGINT emitter libraries. Regarding corresponding requirements and performance, Helios has developed and assessed algorithms versus performance metrics for agile emitters, a previously uncharted field. The Navy has reviewed metrics for classification accuracy to include correct emitter tracks and false emitter tracks of previously unknown emitters. These are analogous to classic electronic warfare and radar requirements for probability of detection and probability of false alarm, respectively. Helios has further presented an EW algorithm deep dive to the Advanced Concepts Group at NSWC Crane. These pictures may help visualize the problem better. Each dot represents an emitter pulse in the electronic warfare environment. Within both plots, all dots of a certain color are coming from the same emitter. The top left plot shows dots that are agile in multiple parameters. So far, so good. The issue is that modern threats use this type of waveform agility to defeat EW systems. EW systems don't know the color of these dots ahead of time. Imagine coloring all dots the same color of gray, then using the human eye or emitter libraries to try reconstructing the pattern of those colors. For both the human eye and emitter libraries, it would not be obvious which gray dots belong to which emitters or even how many emitters are present. The Helios machine learning algorithms solve this problem in the top right plot. With no prior knowledge, the plot shows a different color for each emitter that is present. Helios cognitive algorithms rapidly learn new radar pulse modes and correctly infer the number of emitters, despite all emitters using the same frequency channel and same line of bearing. Can you afford not to have this technology in your system? This slide discusses further features of the Helios machine learning solution. These cognitive algorithms detect emitters that are not yet in signal databases. This provides situational awareness when emitter databases are lagging current threats. These cognitive algorithms do not fragment a single agile emitter to appear as being multiple unknown emitters. This provides situational awareness to the EW operator on the number of threat emitters actually present. Helios cognitive algorithms build a database of new agile emitters while leveraging existing databases. This can also reduce the cost and turnaround time of maintaining SIGINT emitter libraries by using Helios built or expanded databases from deployment. Finally, Helios has additionally coordinated machine learning interfaces with the prime contractor. This minimizes the cost and schedule impact for the program of record prime contractor to insert this technology. Since 2013, Helios has been refining among competing machine learning and artificial intelligence approaches to ensure the best architecture for each EW and other solution. Helios has been making steady progress on improving the maturity of machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms. On initial contracts, Helios successfully demonstrated that machine learning and artificial intelligence are applicable to deinterleaving electronic warfare emitters. At that point, Helios also began additional classified derivative work expanding these results. Next, the Navy awarded Helios with the topic N171044 Phase 1. During that Phase 1, Helios was able to quantify machine learning and artificial intelligence performance increases with new classes of emitters. During the current Phase 2, Helios has additionally quantified machine learning and artificial intelligence performance increases with relevant high pulse densities. Although Helios is in the process of continuing to improve the robustness of these algorithms, the Phase 2 contract period of performance ends this year in 2021. The warfighter does not receive this capability if the Navy does not independently verify this Phase 2 has reached technology readiness level 6. Accordingly, Helios seeks a follow-on contract to support the Navy to independently verify achieving TRL-6. This table has three colors for the different categories of features, advantages, and benefits. The first set of features lets the EW operator know that a single Agile emitter is present. This is a significant improvement over instead identifying many unknown non-Agile emitters. The result is superior situational awareness for the crew of the platform. The detection is also automatic. 
of a single Agile emitter instead of identifying many unknown non-Agile emitters. This improves the speed of the EW operator response. It eliminates manually assessing several unknown emitter detections as really belonging to the same platform. This allows EW operators to more quickly assess threat number and intent for quicker and more kill chain reaction time. Finally, several features reduce various aspects of total lifecycle cost. This reduces the immediate cost and schedule of inserting this technology, reduces the costs of operator workload, and minimizes the amount of cost and time for incorporating new emitters in SIGINT databases. Helios Cognitive Electronic Warfare algorithms are operating at state-of-the-art pulse densities. Helios is now improving the robustness of this cognitive technology as it approaches TRL-6. Notwithstanding, the Phase II contract period of performance ends this year in 2021. As a reminder, the Warfighter does not receive this capability if the Navy does not independently verify this Phase II has reached TRL-6. The next steps for this technology include the following. Helios needs ONR or an assignee to independently validate these algorithms are TRL-6. Helios then needs the Government CWIP Program Office to define a transition window and to evolve Helios evaluation metrics into program requirements. Of primary importance, Helios needs the government to include Helios in the plan years to ensure funding beyond 2021 to transition this technology into CWIP Block 2. Helios is looking to speak with additional government or industry points of contact on EA18G Growler Next Generation Jammer to begin evaluating and transitioning this technology on that platform also. Additionally, Helios would like to speak with BAA Systems Fast Labs regarding cognitive EW. Helios artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms additionally detect commercial radars, such as marine navigation radars. This provides the Coast Guard and the Department of Homeland Security with a possibility for improving situational awareness. Several commercial maritime navigation radars are among the very high pulse density scenarios which Helios has evaluated. These artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms can operate on both unknown radar emitters and also on wireless communication emitters. These cognitive algorithms are applicable to deinterleaving various overlapping wireless communication pulse trains from multiple sources. As such, there are potentially wide applications to cybersecurity, and information assurance for wireless communications. Helios has begun investigating some aspects of additionally applying this technology to wireless communications. Helios has taken approaches that facilitate technology insertion. These include designing for modular open software architectures, designing with Navy provided interface documentation, and verifying robust performance evaluation at high pulse densities. Helios seeks help from the government to arrange independent TRL evaluation, to define program of record transition windows, and to transition from Helios performance metrics into performance requirements for EW programs of record. Helios also seeks the government to provide additional funding for Helios technology transition beginning in late 2021. This can either be bridge funding or preferably a development contract for incorporating these algorithms into electronic warfare programs of record such as CWIP Block 2 and EA18G Next Generation Jammer. Helios welcomes and requests that government and industry contact us to help facilitate these items for transitioning cognitive algorithms into Navy programs of record. In closing, Helios has developed algorithms using artificial intelligence and machine learning that are ready for insertion into electronic warfare programs of record. If your organization or program of record has problems or requirements relating to the increasing complexity of Agile or wideband RF emitters, then our Helios Cognitive Algorithms can help solve your problem or address your requirements. If you are attending this NAVC FST event, please live chat with us now at our virtual booth for Helios. Otherwise, please contact either our President and Chief Scientist, Walter Suspansky, and or myself using the phone numbers and email addresses on this slide. We look forward greatly to having you contact us to discuss addressing your needs with our Helios Technical Solutions.